Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hey, I had a story for you I thought I'd tell. I don't know. <clears throat> any of you ever had a barium enema? Yeah, well, I had a barium enema once. And it, it, it wasn't nothing nice. It wasn't pleasant at all. No. Matter of fact, I, ain't, I haven't been violated like that since summer camp fourth grade counselor said oh, it's just gonna be a friendly game of twister in our underwear <laughs> I, it was say it wasn't the game of twister I was thinking about but that's that's a different story let's say that's a, that's a, talk about that some other time let's get back to this barium minima so anyway yeah I had to have a barium minima so I, I go down there, and uh, I get to, you know, I'm at the doctor's office, like 9 in the morning. Finally call me up there. Hey, how you doing today? All right, I guess. I'm not real sure, but I'm here for a procedure. Uh, yeah, yeah. She says, yeah, it looks like you're here for a barium enema. Uh, yeah, I think that's what it is. I think that's why I'm here. Okay, well. Come on back. Uh, we'll try to make your visit as pleasant as possible. Pleasant. Gee. Bet you got the word enema mixed in with my procedure. I don't, I don't see how any of this is going to be pleasant. But I, you know, I just kept my mouth shut. Went on back. Yeah. I'm trying to be nice as can be because you just never know what will happen in these situations. So... So I get back there, and of course she says, "Go, I need you to go in the bathroom here, put on this gown. Uh, you can't have nothing else on, just the gown. You can keep your socks on if you're cold, but nothing else. Come back out. So I do. I go in there, I put my gown on and all, and I come back out. And uh, she says, all right, you need to lay down, face down on this bed right here. And so I get on it, and there's a bunch of straps and everything. Well, they strap you down because she says, you know, we got to roll you around and we don't want you to fall off so i get on there she gets me all strapped down and she rolls this cart over and this cart has this you know like nine foot long stainless steel looking cable on it you know it's about two inches in diameter you know, the head of it looks like a damn brink flashlight with a, it opens up like a damn shoehorn four direction shoehorn it looked like something you'd see on Alien or, you know, RoboCop's cock or something. Anyway, she's like, I gotta, I gotta put this in. This is where the barium comes from. I'm thinking, okay. And you had to show that to me. And so, so anyway, she goes back there. And I mean, she wastes no time. She just buried that thing right in my head. I mean, she just... Popped her right in there like it's fucking nothing. I knew right then that somebody has been pounding that bitch in the ass. She don't like it. So she taking it out on me. I mean, she took great pleasure in planting that thing in my ass. You know, well, after I finish letting out two or three high pitched chirps, she says, Are you, are you okay, sir? Everything okay? You doing okay? <laughs> yeah, I think, I'll, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. And then she says, okay, because we need to air it up. And air it? Air it up? What the hell you mean air it up? Damn, damn football. Air it up. And she says, yeah, well, yeah, we got to air it up. Cause that's why the head opens like that. So that it'll lock in there. Because it needs to lock in there. Because... Once the doctor starts pumping the barium in there, it'll, it'll fly out if it ain't locked in there. <laughs> and I said, oh, God damn. You know, before I can get anything said, all of a sudden I hear, <laughs> damn. And so I'm just there, clutched up, toes folded backwards, locked. And she says, okay, you're all set. She gives it a good tug. <laughs> okay, shit. 
said that I right, doctor will be in here in a few minutes. And she leaves. So there I am, strapped down in his bed, nine foot robocop hanging out my ass. And I bet it was two, three minutes before the doctor finally come in there. And he comes in and he's like, hi, how you doing today? Fucking kidding me? How am I doing? Robocop got me tied down in his bed and he's planting root in my ass. How you think I'm doing? Anyway, he's like, all right, well, we're going to go ahead and start pumping the barium in there. And he gives it a couple tugs. Make sure it's in there all right. Fuck, <laughs> man. Then he starts pumping the barium. And I didn't notice the barium. It must be the same temperature as your body or something because I didn't notice it. You know? And then they're like, okay, we need to roll you side to side. And oh, side to side. I can't fucking move, man. And so they roll me side to side. And there's a camera there. They can see everything. And, you know, I roll this way, roll that way. I'm like, God, man. And then the doc's like, you know, this thing, this ain't working. It's not going everywhere it needs to go. We're going to need you to stand up. That's Stand up? How the hell am I going to stand up? I can't stand up. You know, but they're not, they're not listening, you know. They hit the button on automatic bed and, and somebody starts lifting up. I mean, I, I know right now in a few seconds, I either got to land on my feet or land on my face. So I commenced attempting to stand up. And sure enough, I landed on my feet, but it didn't feel very good. So there I am, all half hunched over. Nine foot cord hanging out my ass, trying to stand up. They're like, well, turn this way, turn that way, all so they can get a nice, you know, view on the camera over here. And I look to the side, and there's that nurse coming back. So this time, she brought a friend. Yeah, another nurse or something. I'm like, oh my God, man, you people really know how to humiliate somebody, you know? So then, I see her coming. She's coming this way with some some charts and she's like yeah I got this I got this chart right here doc and uh yeah I, I don't know what the hell she's talking about but she comes walking over here and she trips on the fucking cord that's hanging out my ass yeah <laughs> what the fuck she would have felt she had a hold of it <laughs> and she's like I'm oh, sorry sir I'm sorry I apologize <laughs> what the fuck me but, you know, I'm trying to, I, I remain calm, really. I can't look at the I'm like, it's, it's all good. Shit happens. No big deal. It's okay. And, and you're probably thinking, why would I do that? Why wouldn't I just go off? Well, let me tell you. That's the same nurse that violently planted that thing in my ass. I, I, I have good reason to believe she's going to be the one to remove it. I don't know how nice she's going to be about it. I mean, think about that. So I'm trying to be nice, you know, man, it's okay, no big deal. So she goes back over there and she's talking to her friend. And I can see them, they're giggling, they're looking back at me, they're giggling. I don't know what they're saying, did you see that? <laughs> did you see what I did there? Yeah, that'll teach him, huh? Yeah, how do they like it when they plant shit in our ass? Yeah, uh, I'm not that guy, can't tell them that. Yeah, but anyway. I just ignored it. Mm -hmm. Doctor finished what he can, was doing. Said, all right, it's all good. Get back up here. We're gonna take this hose out, drain you, all that. I was like, oh, all right. Finally get back up there. And, you know, honestly, I, I don't know if it was I'm numb from all the tugging and pulling or if it was my fourth grade camping experience, but I didn't even notice when they took it out. It just kind of, came right on out and then uh, they were like okay go on to the bathroom and I need you to sit on the toilet and drain the rest of the stuff out and let the rest of the air because I guess there's a lot of air in there too come out I'm like okay so I make my way to the bathroom and I walk in there and I shut the door and then that's when I realized I must not have been the first patient today because there's that white chalky barium shit blasted all over the walls it's on the toilet it's every fucking where but I mean, I ain't got time to worry about it because this shit's about to come out. So, so I sit down there and I, you know, it's just, I mean, it's terrible. It's just blowing out. And then I look down and there's a, there's a two inch gap under the fucking door. So I, and it echoes in there. So I know all this noise is just traveling right outside. 
and they're out there just listening, and you know, they're probably laughing and everything else. So, I mean, anyway, I finish, I get my clothes back on, I come out with my head all tucked down, just like, holy shit, what the fuck. And, you know, the nurse's like, oh, I don't want to walk you out. <laughs> fuck, yeah, please do. You know, so I keep my head down and just so ashamed of myself. And we get out there and I see other people in the lobby waiting for their turn. And, you know, they're all happy. Hey, how you doing, Bob? Yeah, I'm okay, Bill. How are you? Yeah, shit. I think I'm up next. You know, I've got my head down. I'm thinking to myself, you guys ain't got a fucking clue what was about to happen to you. You know, then, you know, I'm about to leave the door when I hear her turn and say, Mr. Wilson? And, you know, here he is. Yeah, that's me right here. How are you doing today, Mr. Wilson? I'm fine. How are you, young lady? Oh, couldn't be better. Come on back. We're going to try and make this a pleasant experience for you. I thought to myself, yeah, you dumb motherfucker, you ain't got a clue what's about to happen to you. Anyway, anybody ever had a barium enema? They know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know why. I just felt like I'd share that story today and <clears throat> maybe lift somebody up, you know? positive note something to look forward to you know like never having to bury a minimum anyway well i guess i'm gonna get on out of here wasting up your time maybe next time i'll talk about that camping story which doesn't really seem that bad now after all <laughs> anyway see y'all later peace out ciao